In this example, we will try to determine the price of a bond that pays semi-annual coupon payments. We call this a semi-annual bond, and in fact, most of the bonds in the U.S. are semi-annual bonds. So here, uh, let's read this example. If an ordinary bond has a coupon rate of 14%, then the owner will get a total of $140 per year. We take the coupon rate times the par value, in this case it's 1000 If you're not told what the par value is, you always assume it's $1,000 because most bonds have a par value of 1000 So you take the, uh, the par value times the coupon rate, and here you have a coupon payment of $140 per year. But this $140 will come in two payments of $70 each. So if this is a semi-annual bond, then you will uh, determine the coupon payment, the annual coupon payment, and divide it by two. And the amount that you get, in this case $70, uh, you will receive that $70 every six months. So typically you get $70 at the beginning of January and then the next $70 will be paid at the beginning of July. The yield to maturity is quoted at 16%. So the 16% here, this is an annual number. The bond matures is seven years. What is the price of the bond? So here we're trying to determine the price of a bond that pays semi-annual coupons. And uh, we will use the present value um, uh, of the bond formula that says that PV of bond, so PV, of bond equals to C times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R to the power T over R. And we add plus the face value divided by 1 plus R to the power T. So this is the uh, the formula that we have been using. Uh, here, the everything that we are going to input is going to be on a semi-annual basis because uh, C is a semi-annual number. So C equals to the coupon payment. And the coupon payment here is uh, basically the uh, 1,000 times the coupon rate of 0.14 divided by 2. And this will give us a coupon payment of $70 that you get every six months. So, uh, so, so this is $70 that is semi-annual. Okay, so the R and the T that we input into the uh, formula, ha ha they both have to be semi-annual numbers. The R is the yield to maturity. And the problem is telling us that the yield to maturity is quoted at 16%. Uh, you're not told anything about the frequency of the interest rate. If you're not told anything, that then you always treat that number as an annual number. So in this case, uh, the yield to maturity is uh, 16%. Uh, so we take 16% when we also divide it by 2 because we want a semi-annual yield to maturity. This is 8%, but we input it as, um, as a decimal into the uh, calculator, so it would be 0 .0, uh, 0, uh, 0.08, and again, this is a semi-annual number. And then we have T. T is uh, the uh, time to maturity, so here the bond matures in seven years, um, and so um, you take that seven, the seven years, and you multiply by two, so T is seven, times two, because you're getting paid each year twice. So you take the number of years that you have to maturity and you multiply them by two uh, to be able to get to the semi-annual T. So in this case, it would be 14. And again, this also has a semi-annual frequency. Future value is 1,000. This is what you get at the end of, um, of this bond. Now we have all of our variables. All we need to do is just plug them into our formula. So PV of bond equals to 70 times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power of 14 divided by 0 0.08 plus 1,000 divided by uh, 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power 14. If you were to calculate the first part of the equation, you will get 
and 77.10 plus the second part equals to 340.46. You just add them together, which will give you a, a price of 900 and 17.56. So this is uh, the price of this semi-annual bond today. It is, um, uh, again, you see that this is less than the par value, which means that it is selling at a discount. You can get this number using the financial calculator, and there are two ways you can uh, use to get, um, uh, two ways you can use the calculator. Um, and so uh, you can use the default setting, or you could set the calculator to semi-annual frequency. So first, if you uh, set, uh, if you use the default, this is what you need to input. So if you set to the default, um, the uh, future value will be your 1000. The payment will be your coupon payment that you get uh, every semi-annual period, so it will be 70. The I over Y is your yield to maturity, and here you're going to input it as a semi-annual number, so it would be 8. 8%. Remember, we always use the percentage uh, uh, in the financial calculator. And then um, N is 14, and you compute PV. Okay. So if we were to, um, to do uh, the default, we input our variables. So second FV, second CEC. Oh, let's turn. Second FV, second CEC. So 1,000 is your future value. 70 is your payment, 8 is your I over Y, 14 is N, compute PV. And so you get a price of 917.55, um, so this is really close to what we, uh, what we got initially. You can also set the calculator to, the, to uh, semi-annual, so uh, to set to semi-annual, this is the, what you need to do. So to set to semi-annual, uh, you do second I over Y, and then you're going to be asked for, uh, for the uh, price uh, per year. You do two, and then you hit enter. Okay. So we go to the calculator. So second I over Y, periods per year, is two enter, down arrow, exit. So that means that the calculator is set to the uh, semi-annual mode. Um, again, before you input anything, you always clear your work. So second FV, second CEC. And this is what you would input. So the future value remains the same. So it's still a thousand dollars. The payment, this is what, what, you, what you're getting every period is seventy dollars. So the PMT is 70. I over Y, this is the interest per year, and you input it as a yearly number because your calculator is already set to semi-annual, so it knows that this is what you are quoted, and so you keep it as an annual number, so um, 16. And then um, to input uh, N, you basically do 7 years, and then second N, the calculator is going to double it, and then you hit N again, and then compute for PV. And here I'm going to show you how to uh, to do this on the calculator. So the calculator is already set to semi-annual um, semi uh, frequency, and now uh, we need to input our numbers. So 1,000 is the future value, 70 is the payment, uh, 16, remember, we keep it as, a, as an annual number, is the I over Y, and then 7 second n it's going to double it because the calculator is already set to semi annual and so you hit it again you hit n again uh, second time to enter it into the uh, uh, time value of money keys and then you compute pv and we got a present value of 917.55 to exit uh, you just do uh, cac and then to go back to the default uh, what you can do is do second um, I over Y, set this to 1, and then enter, down arrow, exit, and that means that the calculator is set to uh, the default frequency.